The version lens extension shows you inline information about your currently installed packages. You can use this with JavaScript and TypeScript in package.json files, for example, and the extension also supports a number of other package formats as well. Now here I've already installed the extension, so let's take a look at it in action. I'm going to switch over to my Explorer view and open up my package.json file here. You can see I have my list of dependencies, and to actually see the version information about my currently installed one, all I have to do is click the little V up here in the toolbar, and you can see that I now have this code lens here that is showing information about the version that I have installed, as well as what the latest version of all of these packages are. So you can just look through this list here and see that some of these actually have newer versions that are available. Some of these we have the latest version, so we're all up to date there. And if I wanted to update to have my uh, package.json use one of the latest versions, such as updating the React and React DOM dependencies here, all I have to do is click on the latest one, and it'll go and change that, and then I could just run Yarn again, and it would go and update my dependencies. So you can see that I just get really helpful inline information. Now, if you want this information to always be showing and not have to go and click on the little V, there is an option for that. So I'm going to open up my settings with Control comma or Command comma, and I'm going to say version lens startup, and I want the version lens show on startup option here. So there's a number of different settings for this extension, but this one will make it so that you do not have to click on the little V to actually see this information. So now if I go and I reload VS Code, so this would be kind of simulating opening a new project, you can see that this version information is going to be displayed automatically. I don't have to go and click on the little V. If I want to hide that information, I can go click on that again, and then it'll be hidden. And to show it, just click on the V once again. So that's a quick look at the version lens extension. As I mentioned, it also supports a number of different package formats, such as those from .NET and Maven.